Hello and welcome to Lernerville in the 358 modified. I just bought this track and I'm pretty excited because it always looked like a pretty fun one to me. And uh, it's something new to do with Dirt Oval. I'm trying to expand in that area and by getting more tracks I hope I can do so. It is a Highline dominant track so you know I uh, might be a good fit for me. I always like running the high line in whatever car I'm in. So that factored into the decision here. But it's also a track that has no wall. So uh, that's a, that's fun too. So you don't want to fly too close to the sun either. You might fly into the sun, literally. <laughs> so uh, should be a fun challenge. I'm going to be taking it a little easier, so I don't do this in the race, so I can explain. <laughs> that first lap I was uh, taking a little easier, and then second lap I thought I'd push a little harder, and uh, that's what happens when you push a little harder. So, that'll be our qualifying lap. <laughs> I didn't expect to do too much, I just bought it anyway. And so that is exactly why during the race... I'm just gonna be a little softer, you know, take it a little easier, and uh, not do that, because it's gonna be real easy, and I have I have to imagine someone's gonna do it. I just don't want it to be me, and if it's not me, then I don't have to finish last. Following my logic here, I think it's pretty solid. Anyway, that's what it looks like to do that. <laughs> um. Hopefully everyone gets all qualified up here, or uh, go, uh, goes ahead and hits that blue button. Fortunately, I do get that 2x, but we are not the only one, it looks like. I imagine there must have been other people that flew off. And we're actually the number 10, so that, that makes me feel pretty good. Um, don't have to come out here and win the thing. Like I said, just gotta hopefully be one of the guys that doesn't go flying off. And maybe we'll finish right around where we're supposed to. The first lap was pretty slow. And uh, maybe I should have uh, tried to split the middle there. Because the first lap I was it was intentionally kind of slower. Because I just was being very careful. Second lap, I pushed a little too hard, as you could see. And maybe I would have been better off uh, splitting the middle on that one. And uh, just inching a little bit closer, but not going too crazy. But it's all fine. Number 12 here is the only one we're waiting on. Have they, They've apparently gone out on track. And must have gone off before they even did one lap. I think I ran the hell of a lap, guys. I think that's a pole winner. Yeah. They just went slowly around. <laughs> blazing speed but uh looks like 12 here is just gonna hold us up there are they even here they are here i don't know what setup changes do you think you need to make to gain uh <laughs> what, what is that like 30 seconds on that field 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 oh hey there we go yeah it is fixed setup by the way that's why that's a funny joke Oh, and like the <laughs> the start here is really narrow. Got to make sure we're not bumping into people before we even get the track. No cautions in these 358s. So if you do go off the side, you're kind of done. <laughs> you're not really going to have much of a chance unless you really get back on track without too much trouble. be kind of interesting to see how these race in real life. I feel like I'm going to go watch some videos of this. Of this track afterward, because, geez, people flying off the sides, that's crazy. Dirt racing really is like the wild west of racing. <laughs> it's pretty fun. And I think this should be fun too, as long as we don't get like destroyed on the first lap or something. Um, and I get the chance to run around and be slow, maybe. I think we'll be pretty good. Now, I'm not going to be, like, fighting for the top lane or anything uh, with these guys early on. I'm going to let it sort out first. 
And then I'll start uh, trying to run faster laps once things get a little settled down. Because I don't, I don't want to drive off the side, and I don't want to get pushed off the side either. There we go. I navigated that. You do want to come over to like the side over here, because just ramping off the edge there uh, probably would damage your car. I just realized... Okay, no. I was going to say, did turning paint's not load? But it did. I just I've got white paint there. And uh, there was a lot of white on the screen, so for a second it kind of confused my eyes. I'm a little nervous, but I'm really excited. I think this was a good purchase. I still, I've still i still got uh, Christmas uh, iRacing credit from gift cards I got uh, as presents, which allows me to do this, so lots of fun. I still got plenty on that, too, so very exciting to be able to try out new tracks and cars and things. It brought us here to this cloudy day at Lernerville. Hopefully that means that, uh, hopefully that doesn't mean that there's a storm approaching. But we're green! Green flag, green flag! Have about one lap of fuel left. The car outside. Clear. Settle down. Outside. Means we're going to the back, that's fine with me. Clear. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. Alright, clear outside. Okay, so now can we avoid flying off the edge? Ooh, that guy's flying off the edge. Alright. <laughs> we we're not the first one to do it. But yeah, it looked like they got kinda of going again. Not too bad. We are going to have to keep moving. Oh, there's another one off. Right, get down low just in case they try to rejoin real quick and torpedo us. But this might be a war of attrition. We might get a decent number of spots just by staying on the track. So let's make sure we do just that. Got a little too sideways there. So far it looks like it's been just a couple of the guys that were already kind of near the back that fell off. We haven't seen any of the fast guys up front end up off the track. Definitely I could be closer to that uh, edge, but I don't feel the need to be. And uh, of course I'm being uh, thrown into what I presume is top split. Not too many people signed up, but plenty of people that were that are faster than me, as indicated by my number 10 out of 12 people. And, uh, lots of experience on a few, a limited number of tracks, so. I wonder if at any point this, uh, top is gonna slick off, and it's gonna mean that, uh, we wanna move down a little bit. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I would think so, but so uh, we'll just keep an eye on what other guys are doing, I think. And uh, be careful as well, because extra slick around the top means it's going to be easier to slide off, too, I imagine. Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy going off. Okay, past that. I almost drove off just off the edge right there. That would have been pretty bad. Um, uh, session last lap, I turned it off, and ruined my corner just because I was messing with that, but, uh, I want this up, because I'm learning more than anything right now. I'm not going to beat anyone on speed, I don't think, but I will learn something by watching my last lap. Ooh, seven's off, but coming back on. Interesting. Oh, there's a guy flying onto the track. As much as I kind of want to see what happens there, I don't want to. I don't know what happened, but uh, I ruined that corner because I was worried about it. Uh, 
All right. <laughs> this is crazy. It's really slick up top now. Just being patient on the throttle as much as I can. How much uh, can we get coming down here now? Is this any good? Yeah, probably a little slower. A lot safer though. Still not gonna do it though. Maybe try a, a laying down. Yeah, uh, that's about the same. Maybe a little better. Alright, come back up here, see what's up. What's up on the upside? Seems pretty slow now. I think we want to change lines. Only to uh, make sure we're not the ones flying off the edge. I'm going to try just to lane down. Yeah, I like that. We'll uh, do this lane down. And uh, we're in seventh. So more people have flown off. We're uh, in a position to uh, finish better than we should. Based on speed. Just by being careful. Oh, they look like they're ready to push each other off right there. That was kind of a weird choice for the corner there. <laughs> but uh, it kind of worked. I'm just trying things. Learning. I think uh, laying down, though. Still where I want to be. Hmm. Don't think I'm going to have too much pressure from behind. I think we're okay there. Seven's still running up there at the top. He could fall off. Sorry, Jay. Got an aggressive push. Ooh. Kind of like in this slider line bit. See how this goes for a while. Those are the run off, but Ooh, we got a little close there. Be careful. Kind of approaching these guys. Maybe just because they're stacked on each other, but. Whoa, stay away from that wall. This is fun. I really like I'm glad I got this track. This is gonna be there's gonna be some fun races here, I think. Just like full throttling the corner in the slider line. <laughs> I just kind of take the low line. Nah, that didn't work. If we move back up a little bit. Uh, not so much. Ooh, got kind of close to him there. I want to hit him, that's for sure. Like Woo! That was fun. I love that. That was cool. Alright, so the plan worked for the most part. As a number 10, I'm very happy with 7th. My first time at this track. Plan was don't go flying off the edge. We didn't. Other guys did. And now suddenly, everything turned out better than expected. Mid pack. Like I said, high strength of field. This is presumably top split. 
And you got the highest rating guy, rated guy, ending up off the track. We'll see what happened to him if he got pushed off or flew off the side. I think I hit my best ever lap. No, I didn't. <laughs> best lap during the race was 15.8, and the best during practice was 15.6, but that's because I was uh, more willing to be daring in practice because if you fly off the edge in there, it doesn't really matter. So, let's take a look, see how things went. Watch some flying cars. Like Exhibit A, it happened to anyone. It might be a little bit broken from that. Not sure. Not sure where we're we seeing it. Seeing them again. Number nine's going off. Saved it pretty well, though. Is this the one, the guy we were scared of? Yeah, it was. See, I, I definitely overreacted. Because uh, the 9 was careful about coming back on. Handled it pretty well, I think. Didn't just hurt anyone. And it's the 1! He really did just drive off himself. Can happen to anyone. Although the 5 kind of pinched him a little bit. Eh. I don't know. Maybe the 5 should have given him more room or something then. Hard to say. I don't, uh, not good enough with, uh, Dirt Racecraft to know who to blame on that one. Maybe the 5 should have given more room, or maybe the, uh, 1 should have seen that situation coming and backed off. I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not, uh, not much of a dirt racer, so I wouldn't know the answer to that one. 12 flies off the side. These are all positions that I'm getting, because I think I'm probably slowest out here otherwise. And, uh, the 1 frustrated with themselves, I'm sure, hits the wall. Smashing the brakes. <laughs> and having some fun. Not gonna lie, I did this uh, <laughs> in uh, practice when I was on my own. When I was learning the track. It's fun to go ramp off the sides. <laughs> I posted a picture of that on my Twitter. But uh, thankfully we were not flying through the air in the race here. And... Uh, you know, all these guys, all faster than me, but we uh, made it work, and uh, had a lot of fun doing it too. I hope uh, you enjoyed watching, had some fun watching yourself, and uh, I will see you in the next video, and expect more Learnerville in the future, because that was lots of fun. See ya.